Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching, as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. <laughs> and that's my country accent I've been working on. <laughs> I think I'm going to give that one up. Anyways, many, many blessings to you and your families, as always, darlings. We return to source. We return, return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. We call in only the purest of white light, and we pray to stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. We know the enemies don't want us doing that, but we shall. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I, as I have said, as we have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and do our oracle reads or oracle cards. This is uh, 33, okay? You are an original, okay, collective, innovative thinker and, a, and an excellent communicator. Are you sure, Spirit? Because we're struggling over there. We're struggling a little bit right here, okay? Let's start this over. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. Okay, Spirit is telling you what you are if you forgot. 22, okay. You relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. Okay. Collective, your enemies are getting desperate out here. They're trying to block you, honey, from your destiny. It's not working out, so they're taking desperate actions, committing federal crimes, all kinds of stuff. And they don't even know where it's going to land them, uh, the penitentiary. Okay. Anyways, they are still trying to cause illusions out here about you and what you are doing, but someone knows the truth. And they are taking action to bring balance into this situation. So whatever your enemies are doing is leading to abundance for you because someone knows the truth, honey. It's not going like they plan. You have people out here taking, I'm telling you, someone is bringing balance into this situation. You have people out here committing federal crimes because they're so desperate to shut you up and prevent you from having wish fulfillment. They don't want you being seen. Be cautious of a character coming into your life, into your energy, trying to make you an offer. There's a little bit too good to be true. They're going to come and make it seem like it's your wish come through. But they're going to say one more thing. The only catch is you have to let go of what you're doing. Do not do that. Someone is going to come in to interfere with what it is you have going on. Whatever you're working on, darling, is going to lead to a victory for you. So someone wants to come in and cause some type of uh, stalemate, hindrance confusion, something like that, so you can uh, uh, get off the right path that you are on. And when you get off that right path, you're going to miss out on this, honey. Don't do it. This is something someone is planning to do. They're getting an offer together to come into your life and tell you, hey there, hey, stranger. They ain't a stranger. You know who it is. It's that crooked, dark energy that's been trying to steal from you, trying to shut you up. You're when you when they come if they come around you you'll feel the negativity and you'll be repulsed immediately. Honey, let's put all the jokes aside. This is your future and this is what someone's trying to block. But honey, you are going to be uh, partnering up with the right person. Someone is bringing balance into a, a matter. I'm telling you, and it's leading to a new beginning for you. This is what your enemies have been trying to block. You see all these beautiful cars coming out. This is your future. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon, ple upon blessings. And you have some hateful, malicious, jealous, insecure character behind the scenes. You're going through a rebirth, darling, and there's nothing they can do to stop it. Someone is going through some type of ending behind the scenes, and they're desperate to stop it. You can't stop this, honey. It's, it's here. I, I, I can't even say it's coming. It's here. So they have people committing federal crimes behind the scenes, and they think that they're going to get away with it. Someone's, I'm telling you, you're going to meet. Uh, 
You're going to meet the people you are meant to work with. Someone may be having fond memories of you from the past. The past is not where your life is, darling. It's up ahead of you. You're going to be meeting new people, new places, new things. Baby, that's going to broaden your horizon. You need to stand your ground like you've been doing. You are protected. Someone is protecting you from behind the scenes because they know the truth about what people have been doing. And there's someone that is absolutely disappointed in this situation because someone is choosing to do the right thing. They are choosing to bring balance into the situation. Someone has chosen to end something because it's causing them a little bit too much, right? This is what they wanted for you. Someone is being left out in the cold, just not you. Your ancestors are making sure you're not left out in the cold. This is you. This is the judgment your ancestors have made on your behalf. Maybe you ask them to intercede on your behalf, take action on your behalf, avenge you. And they did. And this is your future. Okay? And there's a bitter Jizzy Bell, bitter karmic, bitter baron, karmic Karen, whatever we want to call them. Petty Patricia. All kinds of characters behind the scenes. They are absolutely pissed off because you are moving forward. They didn't see this coming. All the rituals they've been doing haven't been working. All the lies they've been doing, all the secrets and stuff are all coming out. It hasn't worked. So they're just turning into maliciousness. And now someone is just doing any and everything. Don't do, do that, do that, do that, do that. Go to her house, call her, text her, something. They're doing anything behind the scenes, everything. They're doing everything because they're so desperate. I keep getting the desperate energy, losing their cool behind the scenes because they know what's up ahead of them. This is what they want for you, but this is their future. It's been predicted. A prophecy has come through. Actually, a few prophecies have, have come through. And people are going through it behind the scenes. These people are desperate to get into your energy. I'm telling you, they've been working together to intercede, to block your victories. And spirit is just like, oh, yeah, that's real cute. That's real cute and all. But this is our collective's future. Your work is going to be elevated, honey. You're about to be connecting with people that are like-minded as yourself. While these people go through a tower, they thought they were going to cause you a tower, but they're the ones going through a tower. Someone is going, Someone may have had a car accident. Uh, someone is about to have a car accident. You may want to sit down somewhere and stop bugging our collective. Our collective ain't looking for you. Stop looking for us. Okay? We didn't send for you. I'm telling you. Then I say you you all will meet you and your person you are going to meet. Right? You are going to meet. Someone is asking questions behind the scenes. Whoever has been taking actions behind the scenes against you to block you, interfere with your life, your resources, your income, your work, whether you work a nine to five, has a business, do uh, content creating, whatever it is you do, honey. Someone is asking questions about why something is taking place. What has been going on? But anyways, spirit wants you to be quiet. Oh, these questions are burdening someone. Dang. You meeting someone is a burden for someone else. Dang. You getting your destiny, you fulfilling your destiny is a burden to someone. Because someone out here has been pretending to be a better version of you. I don't know how that works. The math ain't math thing. So don't get me to resolve it for you because I don't get it. The calculations just are not calculating and they never will. How it is someone can think they can be a better version of you or they deserve your destiny more than you do. I don't get it, honey. I don't get it. I like math. It was one of my favorite subjects in school. But because this math is not mathing, I cannot help any of you to figure out because it's never going to math. Okay? But, honey, someone is taking action to bring justice into this situation. You still have people trying to steal from you behind the scenes, block you, undercut you, right? Destroy you, all kinds of stuff. But they're living in fear and you're vigilant of all of these people. Anyone trying to come into your energy, you, you're you like, mm, no, 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 no. You're going in the wrong direction, Sally. Sonny, you're going in the wrong direction. You remember you said we weren't good enough for you. You didn't want to work with us. You thought someone else was a better option. We need you to stay over there. The universe has already given us a new partner that we can work with. And they're coming towards us in divine timing. So we're going to stick with that option. What the universe has revealed to us. You don't know who it is. We don't know who it is, but the universe has already made it known to us that we have a new partner. We've seen them in dreams, premonitions, all kinds of stuff. If you're like myself here, we see everything in dreams, premonitions, tarot, all kinds of divinations. So we always know what's up ahead. Anyways, 
the karmics their tickets what does not belong to uh, uh, the collective and the universe protects is that even a word no it's not anyways the universe the universe protects what belongs to the collective is that you want to take a karmic we were wanting this karmic masculine to heal we were wanting this karmic feminine to heal so they can pair up with this divine being and create a legacy but since they want to be karmic and they're choosing the karmic partner we are fulfilling their wish they can stay over there we ain't looking for nah the karmic's looking for us we're not looking for them they're the ones stealing from us we're not stealing from them because what they're stealing at the end of the day is not really what was meant for us okay so if they're stealing a partner, they don't steal their partner. That partner was not meant for you. You have better things coming in. Anyways, someone may want to come in because they these are people that do pract that do work behind the scenes. They go to practitioner practitioners. By the way, there's a practitioner going going through an ending behind the scenes, losing everything, maybe losing their health, getting out of this planet, going to the spirit realm, like going back home. Because they just didn't know when to stop someone. Thought they were all powerful. There's some moron behind the scenes that was paying a practitioner or pays a practitioner. And they think this practitioner is the most powerful practitioner in the world. And the most high has either humble a practitioner or is about to humble a practitioner in the worst way possible. And they are losing everything. Resources, stability. If they had any relationship, they're losing it all. They may be getting out. They, they may be going back home, by the way. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone has definitely been doing some type of ritual around the clock. Every new moon, every full moon, and it's not working. And then shut up. You're telling too much truth. You're being too genuine. If he sees you, he's going to know that you are the true empress and I'm not. Shut up. Stop showing up. <laughs> Collective, they want you to be quiet. They want you to stop breathing. Someone's been doing a lot of spell work, heart spells, death spells, all kinds of spells, and it ain't working. The work is going back to them, and you're busy manifesting this new life, or you've already manifested, and it's coming towards you at the speed of light, right? Some of you could be traveling. Yeah, your, your success is here, honey. Your success is here. You just need to stay diligent, like you've been staying diligent, committed to your cause, committed to your path. You, you honey, you've mastered yourself. Mm-hmm. Dang, you've mastered yourself. And this is pissing people up behind the scenes. They're like, well, this person seems healed. How can we get them out of their energy? Huh? No, you can't. Uh, the universe has decided this person is staying in this energy because they've done the work. So whatever nonsense or childish game, I'm telling you, you're playing. It's not going to come into fruition because the universe is giving this person their wishes. Their wishes are coming through. Whatever they want, they are getting. Because why? They put in the work. Now, collective, you're about to be partnering up with someone that's very influential or affluent. Whatever they call it. Okay? There's a difference between the two. We're not here for definitions. But, something one has to do with being wealthy and one has to do with being able to influence other people. Right? Okay. Kind of charismatic and things like that. But, that's not why we're here. This is not, you know, the... Time to be doing definitions and stuff. Anyways, um, honey, this is you. This is you. And this is what's pissing people up behind the scenes. Because they've done everything to say that you're not good enough. Not that you give a damn what they think. You didn't ask these people if you're good enough. And you don't care what they think. Their opinions are irrelevant as can be. Their opinions don't even matter to each other. These people don't even like each other. But for some reason, they're focused on you. Because why? They know you're abundant. They do. They look into your future, and your future says abundance, 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 more abundance, 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 more abundance. So collective, honey, you are abundant as can be, and these people have been looking into your life, trying to do rituals and stuff to block your abundance or steal your abundance. They said, give me the collective's abundance. I want the collective abundance. I shall have the collective abundance. And Spirit said, I think not. If you don't sit down somewhere, you need to have several seats. I'm telling you, you devilish creature. Collected. Spirit said, no. Spirit said, we don't trust you with all of this abundance because you don't give the vibe that our collective gives. So we don't trust you with that. You can't have it. You're, you are on heel. So no, 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 no. 
Yeah, no, and they're not happy. I said, what? But I have to hold on to it. He said, no, you can't give us that. They don't even have to yank it. You know those spiritual beings are strong as heck. They just gently make it disappear out of your hand, and you see it coming right back to the collective. It said, to the collective. It's like magic. Oh, the shimmering and listening <laughs> right back to the collective and the collective gently holds on to it and say yeah i don't need to grab on tight to it because i already know it's mine it's mine it's mine anyways here we are gently holding on to what belongs to you okay yeah there they go trying to hold on to it with all force it's mine my son it's mine it's my masa. It's mine. No, it's not. It belongs to someone else. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Let it go, Sally. Let it go, Sonny. You know it. It don't belong to you. I'm telling you, it don't belong to you. Let it go. 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 Go, go, go. Let it go. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to let that go. That dream is not yours. That purpose is not yours. That destiny is not yours. You cannot have it and you never will have it. Never will have it. Baby, you are not going to have it. Someone has taken back their power. Collective, this must be you. Or this masculine has taken back his power and he's moving on with his life. Absolutely. He's manifesting a new reality for himself. He's investing in something baby someone could be oh lord someone could be going through some type of promotion yeah he's he's less something he's leaving something healing recovering whatever this is and you still have a group behind the scenes that's still trying to pay people to cause you some type of ending or cause this masculine an ending and it's just not going nowhere yeah honey they're still trying to hold on to what don't belong to them he said, it's mine. I promise it's mine. Look, look, look. I can prove it. I can prove it. Are you really going to lie to us and you know we can see everything from up above? Are you really going to lie to us, Sally? You know we can see everything from up above. Like We know everything about you. We know what you're going to do before you do it. I'm telling you. We know what you're going to do before you do it. So why are you trying to lie to us? You're going to have to find something better to do with your life. Find something safer to do. I'm telling you because we already know. We already know. The whole family is going to need to seek some type of legal advice because you have trouble coming in. The whole family. The whole family. Dang. You're going to have to seek legal advice. Here comes this queen of pentacles again in the reverse. There's, there's mother sucker here. There's moron. She's going through it behind the scenes, ain't she? Yeah, she's going through it. She's going through it. Dang, she was trying to hold on desperately to a man. That woman was trying to hold on desperately to a man and said, No, I'm better than that earth angel. I'm better than that earth angel. I have more money than her. I have more money than him. I'm better. He said, Why are you crying if you're better? <laughs> Why are you trying to prove that you're better? <laughs> you do you not believe yourself that you're better? <laughs> I'm better. And that man is that uh yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm going to my earth angel. This fell out, so I'm gonna put it out. Yeah, it's just <laughs> collective is just getting better and better for you. <laughs> ah, someone told someone uh, uh you were supposed to meet someone from a family, like a group. And they've been interfering with you and this person being able to meet, get together, whatever. That's okay, honey. The universe going to find a whole new partner for you. Someone that's going to like resonate with you. <laughs> honey, you're about to find your other half, basically. So whatever they've been doing, whoever they've been blocking out of your energy, you need to thank these mother suckers. Sometimes you got to thank the... Karma is for being so hateful and insecure because every action they're taking is just leading to abundance for you. Something and someone has been secure for you if you're if you care about the connection because I think some of you do want to have relationships. Maybe a lot of you have been single for a long time and you want relationships. So the universe is telling you that's exactly what's ahead of you. You see here, you went from being single, independent, flourishing to flourishing even more. Abundance, more abundance. 
abundance, more abundance. Now you're about to be in a whole community of people that are like-minded like as yourself. You're about to be with your partner, building empires and all kinds of stuff, getting wish fulfillment. And again, he is going from being single to having a whole family, baby. It's a whole upgrade for the both of you. And you you both master yourself and you're going to be committal, committed to each other. Someone is in some type of non-committal relationship here. Okay? And the people, and the karmics are still working hard to block you. And they're still watching you. And you know they're watching you, but you don't care. It said, it said, <sighs> she woke up. He woke up at 6 a.m. He farted twice. Uh, um, he brushed his teeth um, at 6.30 a.m. Okay, he may be reading a book now. Okay, he's going to the kitchen to get some cereal. He eats cornflakes every morning. Okay, he's making his green juice now. It is 7.45. Is it why are you disinvested in someone's life? Don't you see a problem with it? You don't feel embarrassed that you're disinvested in stalking another human being? Why is another human being like this uh, uh, commit, committed? Is someone in here? This was a feminine energy that I saw in a dream going to the DMV to get someone's private information. And she got it. She went to the DMV to get someone's private information. She has connections in there. And she used it. Baby. Mm, 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 mm. You're going down. Baby, you're going down. My sister, you're going down because you refuse to heal. You're too bitter. This woman, every time she comes out in my readings, my people, the animosity is just too much. Too much. Chai, how can one person have this much hate and insecurity within themselves? And this is an older character, by the way. This woman is full of a lot of hate. It should be illegal to have this amount of hate in your heart. Chai! And the sad part is that the people that she's working with, they know what she is. They know what she is. And no one has any fun memories. Of, this is someone struggling to find love. She has all the money in the world, but it hasn't been able to bring her love. This man don't want to meet with her. This is probably someone she's calling, trying to get him to come and meet with her. Hey, 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 you haven't answered my call. You haven't been responding to my text messages. And he's still not responding. Popping up at his house, trying to find out where he lives or some situation. Trying to put GPS trackers on his car. Busting people tires. All kinds of stuff. It is pathetic. Dear, it's pathetic. Hmm. I'm telling you, it's pathetic as heck. Can you imagine trying to force yourself on a man and he's refusing you every time, but you still keep trying to prove that you are worth... What? What? Nonsense. Nonsense. My, my darling, we are in battle mode, warrior mode. We don't got to prove a damn thing to any masculine. Exactly. You see this? Because when you meet your match, you don't got to prove nothing to them. When people are trying to get with people that don't belong to them, this is when they have to be the jack of all trades. Standing on their hand, doing a hand, a hand stand, handstand, back flips, karate, all types of... I'm your, I'm your twin flip. We belong together. And he's just looking at her like, girl, you got problems. When you meet your soul twin, honey, you meet your match. You don't got to prove nothing to them. You don't got to force them to be with you. You don't got to uh, uh, lavish them with money for them to stay with you. It's just a natural thing. But because they don't belong together, that's why she has to pull money out. Chase him around. Someone may have gotten with a woman for money and the money ain't good enough. He said, I can't. I don't like you like that. I can't. I've tried. Maybe they got married or something. And he's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. He's reconsidering his alliances with her. He said, mm -mm, no, 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 no. You are crazy as heck. Yeah, you got money. You got money. But uh-uh. Nah, I'm not about to lose my sanity messing with you. You're a, you're a destiny blocker. She thought her money, her money was good. Someone envies you for your beauty. 
Someone envies you for your tenacity. Someone envies you for your personality, who you are overall. She's in the reverse out here, honey. She's unhinged. That's an unhinged creature. She sees you as young and vibrant. <laughs> A sister sees you as young and vibrant. She said, mother sucker, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to destroy you. And Swords is like, oh, really? We're going to make sure you see this person every day on their platform at work in your community so you can the hate that is in you can just keep bubbling up bubble 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 bubbling and every time she sees you hears you hears about you that demon is just the vibrating in there i gotta destroy her she's young and pretty she's she's young and smarter than i am i'm better than her though <laughs> you know that's when they stand in the mirror Rubbing the, the smear mascara away. The eyeliner has smeared because they're crying that they're not you. They've been telling themselves that they are the empress in the mirror. They're better than you because they have more money. Is that the masculine the masculine does not care how much money they have? It's just like, oh no, I don't want you. <laughs> you're not you're, you're not my twin flame. You don't bring me healing energy. But as a matter of fact, the energy you put me in is dangerous for my well being. I got. <laughs> Dangerous for my well-being. I gotta get away from you. <laughs> he said, "I gotta get away from you. You're dangerous. You're cold." <laughs> uh, uh He's getting away from her. He said, "I'd rather be out in the cold than to be around you." And he's leaving fast. He said, "I got to get away from you." This this brother is that boom 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 boom. Speeding, going at 100 miles per hour just to get away from her, and he's standing his ground. He said, No, you need to go work on fixing that smear, mascara, and eyeliner. Telling your oh, a sister is heartbroken. Telling yourself that you are an empress out here acting like a little girl. Girl, I'm telling you, acting like a little girl. Sally, get your stuff together. You're out here embarrassing women for a man. Come on out here embarrassing us for a man is this the only man in the world sally you want to tell me there's no other man or you just want this man because he wants someone else that you see as young and vibrant lively colorful gifted intellectual feisty you thought that someone was young you were just going to pick on them and they was gonna, just going to fly over and say okay this old woman has you know, taking me out. I'm just going to stay down here now. Uh-uh. She came after you. You pulled your sword out. You said, come on, let's go, Sally. I'm not fighting with you for a man, but what I am fighting for is my destiny and what belongs to me. And I'm going to have it. Sally picked a fight with a young, with the wrong young vibrant thing, but the right young vibrant thing. She ain't never met no one like you. And Sally is bothered behind the scenes. Her emotions are all over the place. Like I said, she's probably calling this masculine, texting him, stalking him, all kinds of stuff. And Sally knows what's up ahead. It's heartbreak. This is the heartbreak. Oh, tell her this is the heartbreak. Is it motel or hotel? I forget the uh, what she says. I think it's heartbreak motel. Yeah, Sally knows it's a heartbreak motel. Dang, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Sally, this man don't want to be in this. <laughs> He wants to be glorious. And you all know singing is not my talents, but it doesn't stop me. Anyways, Sally's having a hard time. Sally's whole future and plan has been just opposed by the universe. It's that I'm telling you, everything has been just a position for her. Is it Sally? You got to give up this nonsense. Okay, Sally done partner up with, I'm telling you, honey, Sally done partner up with people behind the scenes to make it look like you're the problem. She's hiring a masculine to send them to you so he can come and steal from you, block you, give you some type of opportunity that's not genuine, but you already know because you're smart with it. You're quick with it. You're like, oh, look at this mother sucker coming. You know my ancestors show you to me in her dream a whole year ago. So I've seen your face. I know your face. 
I know why you're coming towards me, Sally. Sent you, correct? Okay. I'm going to wait till he gets closer so he can say hi. And I can just block on him. And then as soon as he come, hey, I've never seen anyone like you. I just wanted to know if I can get. And you just using that bombastic side eye up and down, you know. No. That's when, that's when they start asking all the questions. Man, why can't I get your number? I think you're real beautiful. No. Dang, why can't I get? No. Back in the 90s, what did they say in the early 2000s? Well, I forget you anyway. You're ugly anyway. That's why you're bald-headed. <laughs> True. Isn't that what they used to say to us in the, in the 2000s, in the 90s, right? I was too young today in the 90s, but like in the 2000s, the early 2000s, what did they say? Man, forget you anyway. That's why you're ugly anyway, bald-headed little girl. Is that, well, if I was ugly and bald-headed, why would you try to get my number in the first place? Correct? Oh, okay. They don't want to hear that. Man, forget you. Okay. Um, I, I never was remembering you either, but okay. Have a nice day, sir. Anyways, your ancestors are stepping in here and kicking people ASS and taking names. They don't care who's ASS. They got to kick the grandbaby, the little cousin, the baby. The two-year-old, six-month-old, they don't care. Grandma, grandpapa, whoever, they can get it. Your ancestors don't care because this is a lineage thing. It's like, oh, our lineage is going to be restored. You, we, we can guarantee you one month of effing thing. This lineage here is going to be restored. So all these blockages you're causing, you need to reconsider what you're doing. We may, You need to be a little bit more careful. Because you're messing with the wrong lineage. Someone started a little drama with you that you were not participating in. Participating in, And only for them to find out they had started a whole war with a whole lineage. A whole bloodline in the universe. So, I'm telling you. In the universe. Someone in there is still set on paying people to block your, your offers. I'm telling you. Still paying people to block your offer. They say, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, I need you to, I'm telling you, they're sending you a king of cups. Uh, someone that acts like a king of cups. This is a tower moment because this person has been exposed. I'm sending you a king of cups. You are, since you're a queen of cups, empress energy, I'll send you a king of cups. Uh, you know, the fake one. He'll know how to handle you. Uh, no, honey. No, honey. Whatever commitment he's bringing, it's only going to get him caught up in something he should not be caught up in. But we don't see you ahead of time. Our ancestors are revealing you all to us before you even come towards us. So I don't even know why you're bothering. Why are you bothering? Why are you bothering? We already know that you're not the one for us. Uh, we have new beginnings elsewhere. Uh, spirits that here's the truth for you right before they come so you can know these clowns are coming she's sending someone there's a woman that invested her time like she paid someone to look into your life because she didn't want you and someone coming together and the someone she doesn't want coming towards she doesn't even want her make it make sense there's someone mother in here as well doing too much behind the scenes. Someone's wife doing too much behind the scenes. And all it's going to do is get them caught up in something real sticky that they can't get out of. Someone's just exposing themselves every time they take action against you. And it's pathetic. Can you imagine being around a group of people and they just see you as a pathetic little girl with money? That's all. And you could be like in your 50s and they just see you as insecure. No one wants to be around you genuinely, but you got money. So it's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She has money. That's why we're around her. If she ain't had enough money, we won't be. We wouldn't be around her. That's all. That's all. They're getting real desperate out here. Can you imagine someone doing all of this, all of this, to block you and someone from coming together, only for them to find out you were never interested in the person they were trying to block you from? Make it make sense, Sally. 
Sally, you think trying to block us from coming together with someone we don't want, we don't know. Uh-huh. We don't want, we don't know because you're trying to hold on tight to him like he's your last lifeline. You have a hard time finding love because don't nobody want to put up with you. Maybe you've been offing your partners with magic. Trying to hold on to someone that don't belong to you. Oh, is that Patriot Swords or Empress? So you've been dealing with someone that's young, feisty, intelligent, and they're an Empress as well. Oh, Sally. And you are stalking someone younger than you. Oh, Sally, that's pathetic. That is speaking insecure. But this is your curse for the rest of your life. In this lifetime, you will always be insecure, but you will never defeat our collective. You will always be the bottom of the barrel, Sally, because of the way you are. The bottom of the barrel, Sally. Bottom of the barrel. You will always have to cause illusions for alliances to be formed with you. Nobody wants to be genuinely around you. Nobody gives to SHIT about you, Sally. And that's what bothers you. Your money can buy love. Didn't you hear that song? Money, 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 money. Money cannot buy love. Money, money. Yeah. Money cannot buy love. It just buys commitment from other people to work with you. And once that time is up, they don't want nothing to do with you. This empress has invested her time into her craft, into her future, into her life, into her healing. And you are out here trying to take it away from them. Baby, you've invested your time into the wrong thing. If you show up here as an empress, it's because of your age or because you're the mother of someone or the wife of someone. Not because you are actually an empress. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing, dear. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. You invested in the wrong thing. Why this empress was investing in the right thing? Listen, yeah, you invested in blocking someone. Keeping someone stuck, stealing from someone. Oh, while someone has been investing in securing their future, you've been investing on blocking their future. Oh, Sally, you're so cute. Sally, you're so cute. Poor little Ting Ting. She thought because she had money. He thought because he had money. He was more powerful than the universe. Oh, you've been trying to block the. Mm -hmm. Sally, you need a hug. It is so pathetic. Anyways, they've been trying to keep you stuck, keep you from being able to thrive in life, and you're still busy manifesting new opportunities for yourself, right? They manifested an ending for themselves, honey. It is sad. It's a sad, sad world we live in. Can you imagine going through all of this? Someone paid people to interfere with your livelihood. This is what's out here. They say, I'll give you this if you put them out in the street. I'll give you this if you will fire them. Because we don't want them to be seen as stable. We told someone they were mentally unstable. They were insecure. They were not balanced. And he's seen the truth that they're not what we said they are. Or we don't want him to see that. So go ahead and fire them. So they can be unstable. Go ahead and uh, mess with their work. So they can look like they don't know what they're doing. And none of it is working. Whatever you're planning to do, honey, it's not going to work either. Because the universe is on that ASS. It's that bring that out of there, boy. Busy young fly. <laughs> bring that out of there. <laughs> ah, Sally don't want to bring that out of here. <laughs> Sally said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sally, what do you mean no? What do you mean no? So they want you out in the cold, and they're out in the cold. Right? They're out in the cold. They wanted your future to be bleak now. Their futures are bleak. These people are going through karma that they didn't even know existed. Someone is going through something supernatural behind the scenes, and they're trying to hide it. Something supernatural. It's like they went to some type of uh, a practitioner to manifest some type of ending for you. Or I want them to get in a car accident. And guess what? They ended up in a car accident. I want them to get sick. They ended up sick. It's something like that. I want them to be homeless. Well, they're homeless now. 
Oh, they're about to be. Dang. Toxic and homeless. Golly. Seen as a liar, untrustworthy, karmic as can be, disingenuine. No one has any fun memories of her. The old days are gone. They're dead and gone. No one has any fun memories of this woman. All they know is she had money. But now she may not have the debts. Because her sister went from being independent, affluent and everything to being the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So someone has lost quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money. And they're barely holding on to a relationship that they never had. It said they, they want to make it seem that they and this masculine are happy together. They're meant to be. And he said, uh, no. Can I come over today? Uh, no, you're on Saturdays, Sally. Tuesday's coming. Today's Monday. Today's Monday's day. You're Saturday, Sally. <laughs> you can't come over today. <laughs> That's what all your money got you. Saturday. It got you Saturday. Anyway, 66, 12, 3, celebration coming together. New alliances, friendships. Anyways, your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your desires, your inner desires. I am positive. Absolutely. You know we trust the universe around here to give us what we need and what we want. Hallelujah. Praise the source. Uh huh. Fifteen six sailing on the common waters, healing, recovering, transitioning, Sally, um, transitioning. I repeat, Sally, transitioning. Okay, Sally. All right. Your love for others is powerful, and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who would benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. Okay. Hidden keys. Put things together piece by piece to reveal the bigger picture, important parts. Okay? And there's something these people are re refusing to uh, 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 do. They're not looking at the bigger picture. They're doing things now for the moment. Get this person fired. What do you think is going to happen after you get them fired? What's going to happen? You think like the universe is just going to abandon them? Like, hey, you're fired now, so we got to leave you behind? No. Block this person's platform. What do you think is going to happen? You think no one's going to take action to look into something? Like, how do you all think? Go bully this person. Oh, what do you think is going to happen? Because you bully someone, they're going to fall off the face of the earth and be like, nobody loves me. Everybody is rejecting me. What have I done in life to deserve this sort of treatment? Is that what you're expecting, Sally? Oh, you little cute thing. Cute little thing thing. Zero, fresh beginning, new starts, new life, new adventures. Right? The cycle of life continues okay there is no beginning and no end all is infinite it is time to develop your spiritual side you are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things i am limitless absolutely and that's what these people don't get <laughs> there's always better ahead for you collective every time they stop one thing you just get a whole better and bigger option up ahead. And this woman here, someone started off in this energy here. In this energy here. Uh huh. Being able to pay people, give to people to come and do you something, but she's barely holding on. Someone is struggling. And it's only going to get worse for her. It's only going to get worse for her. Losing friendships, alliances, and everything. Anyways. Thank you for watching, Collective. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.